understanding Stoicism, an ancient philosophy for modern times. Stoicism is an ancient philosophy. It originated in Greece. Zeno of Sidium founded it around 300 BC. Stoicism emphasizes virtue, reason, and living in harmony with nature. It teaches us to focus on what we can control. We should accept what we cannot control. Stoicism offered guidance in a turbulent world. It resonated with people from all walks of life. Stoicism became very popular throughout the Roman Empire. It influenced many thinkers and leaders. This philosophy is still relevant today. It offers us tools to deal with life's challenges. Stoicism helps us find inner peace and happiness. It is a philosophy for a better life. Pillars of Stoicism, control, virtue, and wisdom. Stoicism is built on a few core principles. One is focusing on what we can control. We can control our thoughts and actions, but not external events. Accepting this helps us avoid unnecessary suffering. Another pillar is living virtuously. Virtues like wisdom, justice, courage, and temperance are essential. Stoics believe that virtue is the sole good. We should strive to be our best selves. Rationality is also key in Stoicism. We should use reason to understand the world and make decisions. Emotions can cloud our judgment. Stoics aim for clear and logical thinking. Understanding these principles is essential. They form the foundation of a Stoic life. By internalizing them, we can begin to apply Stoicism to our daily lives. The Stoic Trifecta, Seneca, Epictetus, and Marcus Aurelius. Three Stoic philosophers are particularly influential. They are Seneca, Epictetus, and Marcus Aurelius. Their writings provide valuable insights into Stoicism. Seneca was a Roman statesman and playwright. His letters to Lucilius explore various Stoic themes. He wrote about overcoming grief, dealing with anger, and finding happiness. Epictetus was a former slave turned Stoic teacher. His teachings are compiled in works like the Enchiridion. He emphasized the importance of virtue, self-control, and accepting what we cannot control. Marcus Aurelius was a Roman emperor. His personal reflections, known as meditations, offer a glimpse into his Stoic practice. He wrote about duty, resilience, and finding peace amidst chaos. These three figures shaped Stoicism. Their wisdom continues to inspire people today. Their writings are excellent starting points for anyone interested in learning more. The benefits of Stoicism, resilience, inner peace, and clear thinking. Living a Stoic life offers many benefits. It can help us become more resilient. Stoicism teaches us to face challenges with courage and acceptance. We learn to bounce back from adversity. Stoicism also cultivates inner peace. By focusing on what we can control, we reduce anxiety and stress. We find tranquility in accepting what we cannot change. Furthermore, Stoicism promotes clear thinking. By using reason and logic, we can make better decisions. We avoid being swayed by emotions. This leads to more rational and effective actions. These benefits make Stoicism a valuable philosophy. It empowers us to live better lives. It helps us navigate the ups and downs with greater ease and wisdom. Stoicism Today, a timeless philosophy for a turbulent world. In today's world, Stoicism remains incredibly relevant. We face constant change, uncertainty, and challenges. Stoicism provides tools to navigate these complexities. Its teachings on self-control, acceptance, and virtue are timeless. They offer guidance for dealing with stress, relationships, and setbacks. 
Stoicism empowers us to take responsibility for our well-being. Many people are rediscovering Stoicism. They find its principles practical and effective. It provides a framework for living a meaningful and fulfilling life. Whether you're new to philosophy or seeking guidance, Stoicism has something to offer. Its wisdom can help you live a more resilient, peaceful, and fulfilling life. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more insights on Stoicism and other life-enhancing philosophies.